Greetings all, it's Max and we're back and we're doing a little crypto news alert for people who haven't gotten into cryptocurrency or uh, we're still eyeing it out. And uh, crypto's on sale, you might say that. Now, the people I've been talking to about you know crypto things over the last few months, I had mentioned that they're going to push people out so they can accumulate more because Bitcoin is a limited commodity, right? There isn't unlimited Bitcoin. And the entire market is run by Bitcoin. All of the other coins are just alts kind of trying to piggyback on what Bitcoin is doing. And yes, there's money to be made there and they do different things and sure, sure, sure. But really it all comes down to Bitcoin. And what was announced was all of the banks, major banks are going to be <clears throat> hosting Bitcoin and allowing you to make crypto purchases at, at the bank. And that's gonna take place sometime this summer. It was announced like a month ago or so. And I'm like, oh, well, they're gonna have to crash the market, okay? I don't know how low, how low it was ever gonna go, but I'm, you know, people that I had suggested maybe wanna buy some Bitcoin, I'm gonna say like, don't be scared when the market drops. It could go down to 40,000, it could even go down to 30,000, I said, because they need to accumulate this stuff. And the big whales and the big players, they want to get their Bitcoin for cheap because they know it's going to keep going up. Okay, so that's what we have here. And it was kind of a few things that coincide. And of course, the people who are the big whales and the banksters, they want to take advantage of every situation they can. The big one is the taxes. Okay, normally it's in the middle of April when people who it's their final filing deadline. Um, people who have to pay in wait until the very last second uh, to pay their taxes in. So what a assets that they have, like cryptocurrencies and what stocks, they're going to hold on to them in hopes that they make a bunch of extra money before they have to pay in on their taxes or their capital gains or whatever they're doing. So that was expected. And then, of course, you have a uh, deal with Elon Musk, which really shouldn't affect the markets at all, but it's a kind of a combination. And some news in China and, and things like that, which kind of come together to bring the market down. But it's like it's like this. If you're if you're in Bitcoin, you're in it to hold it. It's not going to make you a millionaire overnight. But at the other token, um, it is something that is better for you than Federal Reserve notes. At the current situation, the way things are going, people who have been out there shopping at all, and people who are trying to buy gasoline on the East, East Coast and stuff. Um, so if you're looking at getting in, now is, it, it hasn't been lower. Okay, I mean, it, it went down to 30,000 at like four o'clock in the morning for about five minutes when <clears throat> the whales are dumping and accumulating. Um, and right now it's sitting around 38. I would expect that by June, we're going to be back up to where it was. Again, you know, no one can predict the markets, but this was obvious, obvious, obvious and had been telling people that this would be happening. Now, Bitcoin is like a house or like gold, real estate or like gold or like whatever. So when the market drops by like 40% in a day, if it was the housing market, would you sell your house? Would you sell your house? Oh, I'm lose, lost 40% on my house. I better sell it quick, sell it quick. Oh, gold went from $5,000 to $1,000. I got to sell all my gold quick. No. Now, remember, guys, you don't lose money until you sell something. Okay? This is pushing out all of the retail people who want to get into the Dogecoin thing and get into all of these things so they can think they can be instant millionaires. You don't lose money until you sell your stuff. All right? You just let this pass. You buy the stuff and you hold it. And yeah, and the price of Bitcoin, let's say the bike, price of Bitcoin goes to 200000 and you got in at 40000 you're doing pretty good. You take some money out, throw it in your safe, buy yourself a boat, whatever, okay? Get your investment back that you're putting into it, but just leave your investment there. And there's always going to be dips, ups, and downs in a crypto market. It's just the way that it is. But over the long term, the trend is, is up for Bitcoin. Just putting it out there for all the people who are like, oh, good thing I didn't invest in Bitcoin. It, it crashed by 35 percent. 
No, it's a planned accumulation by a bunch of big banksters and by the people, the Winklevoss twins who have 200,000 Bitcoin and even probably micro strategy with Michael Saylor. Now, when you look at what micro strategy and these big players are doing is they come out and they say, yeah, I'm buying up all of the dips. You look at Max Kaiser and Stacey Herbert buying up all of the dips. Okay. Um, it's these, it's the crashes that is where it's the right time to invest because the risk is about as minimal as you're ever going to get. If you're ever going to invest in a cryptocurrency right now, Bitcoin, it's, there is as little risk as you can get. Now the problem, and I've invested some in this, in this dip, but the problem is we're running into is everyone's trying to buy stuff and a lot of the uh, exchanges and things are locked up. And that's what happens during these things is you can never get the market at the absolute bottom to buy in and you can never sell at the absolute top because the market, the, the your exchanges are all backed up. Um, but yeah, I mean, as far as, as far as for Bitcoin, now I'm talking, all of the other alt altcoins are all gambling. Okay. It's all gambling. You know, Ethereum looks like it's okay, but the product itself isn't very good. I mean, people like it and use it, I guess, but it, the product itself isn't very good compared to others, you know, and people like their Dogecoin, you know, and, and all these things. And it's like, you can gamble on that stuff if you want to. But when these crashes like this happen, where they're trying to accumulate Bitcoin, they're not crashing the market to accumulate Dogecoin. All right. Nobody is crashing a market to accumulate more Dogecoin. It's only about Bitcoin. Um, so that's what I have with that. And Bitcoin, of course, you can turn it into anything else. And when the markets come back up, you can see who's left because these altcoins, some of them are just going to disappear and they're never going to recover. Bitcoin is going to recover. All right. Again, that is my opinion on this stuff. And I'm going to put a heads up out there because I do talk about cryptocurrency. Um, yeah, these, you know, these kind of things can kind of sort of be expected a little bit. You just never know the severity of what it is like. For instance, for some reason on Sundays every week, the market drips, uh, drops by like 5%. And then it's usually back by Monday morning. You know, who knows what kind of trading is going on there. Tax season, the market is always going to drop because people are pulling their money out so they can pay taxes. All right. There's just certain things that happen that you know about. And you can kind of expect these fluctuations in the market. Something like this is big. And this is an indicator that the banks need more Bitcoin and they want a cheaper price. This is what it, this is because by the time the Bitcoin, you can go to your local uh, ATM and buy Bitcoin. You can go to Bank of America and buy Bitcoin. You can go to Wells Fargo and buy Bitcoin. Bitcoin's going to be a hundred, hundred and fifty thousand a coin. All right. They got to get in to where there's no chance they can lose money on offering these services to selling Bitcoin to their, uh, the people that are members of the bank. All right. And that's what it is. Just quickly putting it out there. Um, yeah. So it's at 38,000. I'll probably some point at, let's say June 1st, look back and we'll see what the price of Bitcoin is. If you guys had put in money right now, what it would, what it would be. All right. With that, we're going to be out of here.